Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic for you, video compression. We all know how important it is to keep our video files manageable without sacrificing quality. So, in today's video, I'm going to guide you through the process of compressing your videos without losing that crystal clear quality. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Now, let's get started. So, why do we need to compress videos? Well, whether you're a content creator, filmmaker, or just someone who loves recording memories, large video files can be a headache. They take up a lot of storage space, are challenging to upload or share, and can even cause playback issues. But fear not, we've got your back. Let's jump into the steps. The first step is choosing the right video compression software. There are various options out there, both free and paid. For today's tutorial, we'll start with Handbrake which is user-friendly and offers excellent compression without compromising quality. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. The first step is to download and install Handbrake. You can find the download link in the description below. Once downloaded, follow the installation instructions for your operating system. Please note that Handbrake on Windows requires .NET Desktop Runtime so download and install it. Now we can open Handbrake. With Handbrake open, click on the Open Source button and select the video file you want to compress. You can also drag and drop a file or folder on the Handbrake window. Handbrake will analyze the file and give you a variety of options. Handbrake supports the opening of video files in a diverse range of formats. But when it comes to saving the compressed video, it provides options limited to MP4, MKV, and WebM formats. If your primary goal is to reduce video size, it is highly recommended to opt for the MP4 format. However, if you wish to preserve multiple video, audio, and subtitle tracks, the MKV format serves as an excellent choice. On the other hand, if your intention is to share the video online, selecting the WebM format would be a suitable and efficient option. Also choose the right preset. Handbrake comes with several presets for different use cases. If you're not sure where to start, the General tab offers presets like Fast 1080p30, which is a great balance between speed and quality. Experiment with these presets to find the one that suits your needs. Handbrake provides user-friendly presets conveniently located on the right side of the window, catering especially to beginners. These presets are designed for common tasks like sending videos via Gmail or uploading them to YouTube, simplifying the configuration process for users. You can easily select a preset that aligns with your needs and then fine-tune it to your liking. A popular and versatile option is often the Fast 1080p30 preset, making it a recommended starting point for many users. Within the Dimensions tab, Handbrake precisely identifies the resolution of your source video. It's important to note that video resolution significantly influences the file size. However, having a higher resolution doesn't automatically translate to better visual enjoyment, especially on screens with lower resolutions. For instance, a 4K video won't appear superior to a 1080p HD video on an HDTV. Therefore, it's recommended to compress 4K videos to a resolution like 720p 30 frames per second or 1080p 30 frames per second, especially when preparing content for platforms such as YouTube or Facebook. The size of a video file is primarily determined by the coding format, resolution, and bitrate. Opting for the H264 video codec is a solid choice, as it strikes a balance between file size and quality. 
However, the HEVCH1265 codec is renowned for its impressive compression ratio, delivering half the bandwidth data and reducing the file size by half without compromising quality compared to its predecessor, H264. While H265 is known for its efficiency, it is not as universally supported as H264 at present. Therefore, for optimal compatibility and file size considerations, we recommend sticking with H264. Nevertheless, if you're an iPhone user we highly recommend selecting H265 in Handbrake to reduce the video file size. Don't forget about audio. Head over to the Audio tab, where you can choose your preferred audio codec and adjust the bitrate. Again, finding the right balance is crucial to maintaining good audio quality while saving space. Before you start the encoding process, click on the Preview button to ensure everything looks good. Once satisfied, click on the Start Encode button and Handbrake will begin compressing your video. It also saves the preview video in the video folder on Windows. You can check the file size there. When you are satisfied just click on Start Encoding. For more information check out the documentation. You can also use VLC Media Player to, to reduce video file size without losing quality. So, why VLC? Well, besides being a fantastic media player, VLC also offers some powerful tools for video enthusiasts, including the ability to compress your videos without sacrificing quality. Click on Media in the top left corner and select Convert, Save. Then, click on Add to choose the video file you want to compress. Once added, click Convert, Save. In the Profile dropdown, you'll need to select the type of conversion that you want. For instance, if your intention is to upload a video to YouTube while maintaining high quality, opt for the video for YouTube HD setting, anticipating that your audience might be watching your content on a TV. In that case, consider using the video for MPEG 4 1080p setting, and so forth. To further decrease the size of your video file, you can modify its resolution. Click on the Settings button, represented by a wrench and a screwdriver, located to the right of the Profile dropdown. Next, choose the Resolution tab. Within this tab, you have the option to either adjust the scale to maintain the current proportion or manually alter the video size according to your preferences. Click Save in the Convert window. Choose a destination folder once the compression is complete. Take a moment to preview the compressed video. Make sure it meets your quality standards. If satisfied, congratulations. You've successfully reduced your video file size without losing quality using VLC. You can also use Shotcut, a powerful and free video editing software. If you're eager to shrink those video files without compromising quality, so why Shotcut? Well, besides being a versatile video editor, Shotcut provides excellent tools for reducing file sizes without losing quality. With Shotcut open, click on Open File and select the video you want to compress. To save it in a different file format, click on the Export button located in the top right corner of the window. A vast array of options will be displayed for you to choose from. In most cases, opting for the H264 baseline profile is a wise decision. This format is likely to diminish your video size without compromising quality significantly. As you explore, you'll notice various alternative compression options. Feel free to experiment with them to observe how much they reduce your file size. However, as a general rule, H264 baseline remains a reliable choice. Additionally, you have the flexibility to modify the video size by adjusting either the resolution or aspect ratio fields. Shotcut is recommended for advanced users, but you can certainly explore its features to see what happens if you're feeling adventurous.
And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to compress your videos without losing quality. Remember, finding the perfect balance may take a bit of trial and error, so don't be afraid to experiment. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.